WON YouTube Networks is now on Facebook. Check it out. Welcome to the world of stupid. Forget about schooling children. It's time to school stupid humans. Class is in session with Boneheads 101. Check it out on 5. You're watching WB5, WON TV Brooklyn. Part of the WON YouTube Network. Regular programming will not be seen in order that we may bring you Sox Baseball. couple of games it has not been pretty for the Yankees for the White Sox it's been spectacular putting up outstanding numbers offensively take a look at the White Sox starting lineup Rollins Frazier Winfield Jackson Edmonds Brett this Rory and Abreu the same lineup Right now, Pineda's all set, Yankee fans all set, so are we, here we go, first pitch up the middle, base hit in the left center, and Rollins is on, boy, his bat continues to burn lumber. Lead off hit in the left center, and the White Sox have something going here in the first, he extends his hitting streak to 13 straight games. Here's the base hit again. He is just in an offensive zone, folks. There's the red hot Todd Frazier who hit two home runs yesterday. He's tied with Reggie Jackson in second place for the home run category. Both Reggie actually make it third place. Both Reggie and Frazier have 31. George Brett with 32 and Winfield with 33. Man's at first, nobody out. Pitch to Frazier, line to deep left field. Back is the outfielder. He makes the catch. That's Brett Gardner with that one. And there's one gone here in the start of the game. Now bring up Winfield. Winfield hitting at 527 with 23 homers and 71 runs batted in. He hit his 33rd home run of the year yesterday afternoon. Going back to back with Frazier around the ninth inning. Man's at first, one out, no score just underway. Pineda is set. One out delivery to Winfield. Ground ball, double play ball, and inning over. Double play turn. 
by Didi Castro and Teixeira. Miller first, man is not at it because he's on base. Yankees coming back with no score. Here's Joe Girardi, and here's his one through nine lineup for the Yankees. You have Ellsbury, Gardner, McCann, Teixeira, A-Rod, Bird, Gregorius, Ruff Snyder, and Hicks. And on the mound for the New York White Sox is none other than the knuckleballer himself, Phil Necro. 321 is his career total in wins. His ERA career, 3.34. Let's take a look at the defense for the White Sox. It's the same as yesterday. Edmonds, Jackson, and Winfield man the outfield. The infield is Rollins, Brent, Laurie, and Abreu. Catches the balls and strikes for the Sox. Carlton Fitz. Here is Jacoby Ellsbury. Hitting at 220 with one home run and nine runs batted in. He was kept in check for the most part yesterday afternoon. First pitch is a knuckleball and it's outside. 1-0. One-zero delivery is there for strike one call. One ball and one strike. One and one is the count. Ellsbury said so as Necro at the belt with the pitch on its way. It's popped up in the shallow right field that's hooking near the stands in foul ground but Abreu's got it for the first out of the bottom of the first inning bear with our microphones here we've had some technical difficulties with our sound stuff but we're trying to fix it as much as we can so please bear with us Greg Gardner now the batter there you see his splits he has had an awful season so far Almost the carryover what happened in the second half of last year. That's popped up and good effort by Brett, but not to that there that close. So on one is the count, and he'll flip this one deep to right field. Jackson going back, it is gone. Brett Gardner flexing his muscles and hits a line drive over the right field. And the Yankees have a one-nothing lead. That's homer number three of the year for Brett Gardner. The Yankees. Just like yesterday, strike first, except this time is different. It's a home run for Brett Garner. It's 1-0 New York. Brian McCann giving him a glad hand reception here. Let's take a look at the home run. A line drive to right field. You hit it to the short porch and right, just like in the old stadium. You're going to get it out, and that's exactly what Brett Garner did. Solo shot makes it 1-0, and now here's Brian McCann. We'll tell you his stats in a moment if possible. Foul away to the left, right side, left side of the play. Strike one. The O one on the way. Foul away, strike two. Again the O two. Another foul ball. We'll do it again. Again the O two on the way. Another foul ball. He's working Necro hard here. Again the O two. Struck him out swinging. Big out to get for Necro, and there is two down in the inning. Mark the Sharon out of that as you see that strikeout. Boy, that was that was beyond filthy. Here's Mark the Sharon. 159 is his average, no home runs, two RBIs. That's for the home. He's had an awful season so far to begin with as well. Two out delivery. In the air, deep right. He got all of that one. See you later. Goodbye. Oh, mercy, what a shot. Mark delivers a text message to his former club almost near the third deck. It's 2 nothing Yankees. Man alive, what a shot that was. You hit that ball that high and that far, you're going to hit it to deep places, and that is exactly what Teixeira just did. This one was just no doubt about it. You can't even argue. That was a bomb. Off the facing of the third deck, it's 2-0 Yankees. 
And now here's A-Rod. And he takes a curveball in there for a strike. He's just 10 home runs shy of 700. But he's been struggling. 187 average. Three home runs. And 16 runs batted in. Yankees two. White Sox nothing on two solo bombs. 0-2 to A-Rod. He'll foul it to the right side. Into the stands. Out of play. Pitch. Struck him out swinging, side retired. But not before the Yankees go deep twice. And at the end of one, it's the Yankees two and the White Sox nothing. Back at New Yankee Stadium is Reggie Jackson and he had 497 with 31 home runs and 64 runs batted. And once again, for the second game in a row, the White Sox have to play comeback baseball. Down two nothing. Gardner and Deshera going deep in the first inning. So a little bit of breathing room for Pineda. First pitch to Reggie is there for a strike on one. Reggie comes in here, six home run shy of 600 career home runs. Nothing in one is the count. Pineda set at the belt. The 0-1 delivery and line right past Gregorius in the left center. That should have been caught. Jackson on his way to second. The throw is not in time. It'll be either a double or an error. To the naked eye, it looked like D.D. should have got to that ball. He did not, so that's why I say it's either a double or an error, but look at Reggie hustling all the way. And he got in there safely. It'll be a double, not an error. So here's Jim Edmonds hitting at 399 with 28 homers and a ton of runs batted in. Big left-handed batter, big left-handed slugging legend. RBI chance for him with a man at second and nobody out in the 2-0 Yankee lead. Swing and a miss, 0-1. No balls, one strike, nobody out. 0-1 to Edmonds, swings and misses on the inside pitch. He continues to struggle, there's no question about it. And talked to Robert Ventura about sitting him down. He has had no thought of doing that. So he's sticking with him. Question is for how long? The other one on the way. Whoa, he would like to get that one back. That was his pitch, but he fouled it way foul. So it's on two on Jim Edmonds. Boats well, on its way. There she goes. This is a tie game. Way back in the right. So long, farewell. Well, he answers his managers with his struggles and answers in a huge way. A two-run game tying homer, and it's a 2-2 game. And fans, you know what happens every time a White Sox gets home run. Hey, Jim Edmonds, this Bud's for you. He got all of that one, folks. Holy cow. Into the bleacher creatures and right. That's a big way to wake up yourself on a Sunday afternoon and break out of your slump. Number 29 of the year for Edmonds. And take a look at this baby fly. A no doubter in the deep right field near the empty seats or among the empty seats. 2-2 two -two game. Now here's George Brett hitting at 475, 32 homers and 72 Runs batted in. 2-2 tie here in the second. Fireworks here at the new stadium. And in a big way. Pineda set at the belt here. And the pitch coming and the ball fouls. Strike one. George Brett with a 19 game hitting streak on the line here this afternoon. Pitch to Pineda. Got a piece of that one on the ground of the shortstop. Gregorius with the throw. They get their man. For out number two. Or is it out number one? <laughs> Believe it or not, it's out number one. So my mistake on that, I thought there were two outs. His best, boy, he has hit, he's just been a Yankee killer. Has hit five home runs in this series. He had four on Friday night, one yesterday. What will be on tap this afternoon? Well, we'll wait and see. 2-2 tie, base is empty, one out. 
And the pitch by Pineda is hammered down the right field line, but it'll go foul. Strike one. The strikes by Pineda, the 0-1 on its way is outside. One and one is the count. Pitch coming, and the ball hammered on the ground to short. Dede's got it, and they're two away. So that'll bring up Brett Laurie, hitting at 429 with 14 home runs and 30 runs batted in. 2-2 Two -two tie here in a second, thanks to Jim Edmonds' game-tying blast. The deep right field, and that's lifted foul. Look out for that one. No balls in one strike. The stretch coming on its way to Brett Laurie. Hammered on the ground, base hit up the middle. Laurie's on with a single. With two outs here in the second inning. And Rothschild has to come in and try to calm down Michael. Now here's Jose Abreu with a game tying home run, a bullet to right field, had a couple of hits here and there, so it looks like he's breaking out of his slump. Would you believe it that uh, yesterday's home run was his ninth of the season? He had a power out, it's like you never believe. There's a line drive, base hit in the left, and it's hot hitting continues in the short term. First and second, two outs here for the White Sox here in the second inning. And Pineda having a tough time trying to figure out how to get out number three. Here's a tough customer he has to face. Jimmy Rollins, who went deep twice yesterday, batting on the left side. Big opportunity for the Sox to break the tie. First and second, two outs, 2-2 two -two game, Pineda set. And the two-out delivery is a line drive into the gap in right center. That's going to bring in the go-ahead run. Well, 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 score. Will they bring in a second run? Let's say the throw home is in plenty of time and the tag is there. But the White Sox take a 3-2 to two lead. For the big story, Edmonds game time homer. Throw the second, 3-2 New York with Sox lead. Greg Bird, the batter. Couple of home, well, one my saying throw the home runs. He has done nothing in the last four games. 0-4-11. That's a bad stat. You never want to see that on your TV screen. Here's the pitch. Was it inside or outside? Knit the corner, but not called the strike. 1-0 and is the count on Bird. And there's a strike. The knuckleball right then and there. Once again, we apologize for our microphone situation. We're trying to get it as fixed as possible. We're thinking about getting a new sound system. But that's ways away. 1-2 and two is the count. The pitch coming on its way, fouled away, strike number two, one and two. Pitch coming, and the ball fouled away. The Yankees have hit two home runs, both of them bullets, but of course the share has the longest home run in this game so far. I think Edmonds comes close, as Bird remains in a one-two situation. Pitch coming on the way to Bird, he struck him out. Good pitch by... Necro, another knuckleball, and there's one gone here in the second inning. Well, the batter is Didi Magorian sitting at 240 with one home run and seven runs batted. His only percentage at a whopping 326. That pitch is there for a strike on one. The O one on the way. Fouled away, we'll do it again. Didi hit his first home run of the year last yesterday afternoon in the ninth inning against Todd Fish Hunter. So hopefully he'll get on a roll with his power stroke. He'll pop this one into shallow center. Under this one is Mr. Edmonds without number two. Rob Ruff Snyder now the batter, hitting at 333 with no home runs. And no runs batted in. 3-2, White Sox lead the Yankees. There's a strike, and the count is on one. Yeah. 
The 0-1 on the way. Fouled straight back. 0-2 is the count. 0-2 again. Fouled away again. The stretch and the 0-2 delivery. Fouled away again. I'm like a broken record when I say <laughs> I keep repeating myself. 0-2, another foul ball. So this at bat is running up Phil's pitch count, no question about it. You hate that as a pitcher. This time, he wins the battle by striking out Ralph Snyder. Side retired. We play two at the new stadium with the score. The New York White Sox, three, and the Yankees, two. Todd Frazier. Now the batter here to begin the top of the third with the White Sox on top three to two. Frazier went deep twice yesterday. He had a monster three-run home run to the second deck in left field. He'll hit one the other way, deep to right field, and caught by Aaron Hicks for out number one. Now bring up Winfield. Grenada set the belt. One out delivery to Dave. On the ground to the hole. Base hit in the left field. And Winfield extends his hitting streak. He's on with a single. Now bring up Mr. October. A 38 game winning uh, hitting streak for Winfield. He is red hot, folks. And you're watching it right before your very eyes. 38 game winning hitting streak. Isn't that something? 38 games. He's not too far from Joe D. Don't want to jinx it, but he is not too far from it. Pitch to Reggie. Double play ball. And Reggie struggles with the Yankees. Continues, but that's going to be a fearless choice. The ball is thrown into the dugout. That's going to be an out at second. And an error thrown to first. Girardi's got to be beside himself. So, it's an E6. But here's Edmonds with a two-run homer his last time up to tie the game. It's three to two White Sox. Man is in score position for the Sox. That's Jackson. He reached on the air. Pitch by Pineda to Edmonds. Hard ground ball. Base in the right center. They're going to send Reggie. And there'll be no throw. It's four to two New York Sox lead. Third RBI driven in by Edmonds. An RBI single. And it's four to two White Sox. There's a lot of Pineda. The question is going to be now how long will he stay in this game? Here's George Bredo for one, who grounded out back in a second. Two outs, a man's on, and a run is scored. Four to two, New York leads New York. Sox lead the Yankees in English. And the pitch by Pineda to Brett is popped up in the infield. This will be out number three if it's caught. Teixeira calls off everybody. He's under this one and makes the catch for out number three. But Edmonds... Drives in an RBI, a single is third of the game, and in the middle of the third, it's the White Sox four and the Yankees two. Aaron Hicks now the batter, two home runs, nine runs batted in his average at 200. As he takes the strike on one. Necro set at the belt, the 0-1 delivery on its way, oh, foul it away. 0-2, fouled away again. I'll tell you, these, these batters fouling off all these balls are really, really running up Necro's pitch count. You don't know how long he's going to last now with all these pitches being fought off with the foul ball. And there's another one in the seat. Well, I'll tell you, whatever, how many, I don't know how many fans are here, but there's a lot of souvenirs in foul ground and in fair territory. There's another one. Boy, I'll tell you. You got to wonder how long Necro is going to stay in this game. With the way these pitch batters are fighting off the baseball. That's popped up near the third base side. And oh, man. Brett seems to be okay. He hit the top hard. And it remains 0-2 on Hicks. What a battle between him and Necro. And it continues. Again, the 0-2. He'll pop it up in the shallow left. And Phil will win the battle. Winfield under this one to put it away for out number one. Look, he's up to 40 pitches and we're not even out of the third inning. And now, well, he hasn't been solid as of late. 
As you saw the home runs hit today, look at Jacoby Ellsbury, he'll lead off for one out, and base is empty, and that's popped up. Shortstop ball. Jimmy Rollins under this one, he'll put it away for out number two. Well, here's an at bat he's happy got over with the one pitch. So, it'll bring up Brett Gardner who lined a home run to right field, a bullet job to right field. He'll take a knuckleball in there for a strike one call. The O one on its way. Rip to right. He's done it again. Goodbye baseball. One run ball game. Into the second deck for Brett Gardner. Second time he's tattooed a baseball. This time is deeper and further than the other one. It's four to three. White Sox lead the Yanks. Home run derby at the new stadium indeed. So that'll bring up Brian McCann here after the home run. It's four to three White Sox. As we told you, Necro not sharp at all right now as McCann almost just tied the game. He saw a meatball and drilled it. 0-2 on the way. Oh, another one. Well, Necro better be careful here because McCann is sitting on all the pitches he's throwing. Another foul ball. He's going to be near 50, folks, when it comes to the pitch count. He's probably already there. Another foul ball, 0-2. The Yankees are not being fooled by Necro's knuckleball. He is not fooling anybody with his pitching. That's going to be out number three as Abreu tags third, first base. The Yankees, well, they're flexing their muscles, something we haven't seen in the last couple of games, but they're doing that, making it a ball game. Four to three, White Sox lead the Yankees at the end of three. We march on to the fourth inning. And Carlton Fist will be the batter. He has hit five home runs in this series against the Yankees. And that's a foul ball, strike one. He missed number six by not much. He is in a groove, folks. There was questions if he was going to be taken out of the lineup for today. He said, nope, I want to stay in there. I'm, I'm rolling hot. So... Swings and misses on that pitch, 0-2. When you're hot, you're hot. And I don't think any player who's hot wants to be taken out and have a day off. Kind of ruins their rhythm. And that's popped up in the air to deep right field. Look at this. Aaron Hicks at the wall and make the catch again. Carlton Fish just close to hitting home run number six in this series. He's in the groove, folks. And now here is Brett Laurie, one for one here today. With a single and scored a run. Four to three, New York White Sox lead the New York Yankees. Pitch on the way, swing on him and strike one. Pitch on the way, ground ball to third. A-Rod's got it. Out number two. Here's Jose Abreu at the plate. Pineda is set. And the two-out delivery. A line drive, base hit in the left center. His second hit of the day. Boy, well, Abreu is coming on strong, no question. He's getting out of that slump, which all of you I know hoped would happen, and it's happening now at the right time. Here's Jimmy Rollins. Two for two here today with two singles and an RBI. Man's that first two outs, one-run ball game. 
And the two out delivery to Rollins somehow nipped the corner. No balls and one strike to the dismay of Jimmy. Butch had a batting left-handed here today. He hit two home runs yesterday afternoon as a left-handed batter. On Friday, he hit one as a right-handed. So he has three home runs in this series. And that one's down low, one ball and one strike. White Sox head home just across the way. They're on Houston. Houston comes to town. They're looking serious. They're looking forward to watching. That's hammered into the gap in left center. Jimmy Rollins continues to pound the baseball. Jose Abreu on his way to third. He'll stay there second and third for the White Sox here in the fourth inning. What a series Jimmy Rollins has had. And he connects on a bullet line drive to right center. Hit off the top's chrome sign. And that'll bring up Todd Frazier 0 for 2. There are two outs, two on. Four to three White Sox here in the top of the fourth inning looking to extend their lead right now. They're only up by one. With the Yankees flexing their muscles tonight. We'll make it today. Good to get more than one. Round ball, what a dive by A-Rod. The long throw and they get the Todd father. A-Rod robbed him, side retired. Middle of the fourth, it's the White Sox four and the Yankees three. Here's Mark Deshera who hit a bomb off the side of the third deck in right field. A former White Sox flexing his muscles against the White Sox this afternoon as he takes a knuckleball in there for a strike. That Negro is going to get a lot of gray hairs. By the way, Brett Saberhagen and Daniel Webb are warming in the White Sox bullpen. I don't, know, I don't think Negro is going to be staying in this game for long. Swing and a miss. He strikes out the sheriff for the first out of the fourth inning. Alex Rodriguez, the batter, 0 for 1. Struck out back in the first inning. Pitch coming on the way is a strike going one. The 0 1 on its way is a strike going two on a run. A lot of empty seats at the New York Stadium when your team is just at 13 wins. Expect empty seats. 0-2 oh, on the way to A-Rod, another foul ball. We'll do it again. Necro set again, the 0-2 and a lifter in the left center field. That's well hit. And Evans comes in, he'll make the catch for out number two. Well, he hit that ball on the button. But to no avail, here's Greg Bird 0 for 1. Struck out back in the second inning. Four to three White Sox hanging by a thread here in the top of the fourth inning. The pitch coming to Bird is a ground ball to second. And Laurie throws him outside retired. First time I can say it's a 1-2-3 inning. And the four, four to three Sox lead the Yanks. Here's Dave Winfield who had a single back in the third, extended his hitting streak to 38 games. Base is empty, of course, because the start is fifth inning. Four to three Sox, they're up by one. And a little looper in the right field and caught by Castro for out number one. I make it not Castro, but Rob Snyder. My mistake on that one. As Winfield was jammed on that pitch. Here is Reggie Jackson, one for two. A double and two runs. Pineda set at the bell. One out delivery to Jackson. There she goes, straight away center. He's been waiting to hit one out, and he's just done that. Out of here into the restaurant in dead center. Mr. October flexing his muscles, and it's five to three White Sox. Number 32 for Reggie Jackson. And fans, you know what happens every time a socket's home run. Hey, Reggie Jackson, this bud for you. And boy, has he been waiting for one for a long time. Holy cow, what a shot. We got to see where this ball actually landed. It looked like it hit off the roof of that re restaurant into the crowd. 
Let's take a look at this. Oh. Now let's let's watch this ball land. Are you kidding? <laughs> that is a that's a monster shot. On top of the restaurant, and now it's five to three. Number thirty-two for Jackson. Edmonds lines it to right field. That's a smoker for Jimmy. He's on with a single. Oh my! He ripped that one. He almost took the head off. Of the first baseman almost. <laughs> I'll bring up George Brett. Look at this. George Brett 0 for 2 here this afternoon. Grounded out back and popped out earlier here today. A run is in on Reggie Jackson's monster shot in the dead center. His 32nd of the year. He's now one behind Winfield. Brett with 32 as well. And a foul ball, strike one. The other one on the way, couldn't get to that one. 0-2 yeah, is the count. Boy, how about Reggie Jackson's home run? Well, you can tell the frustration. <laughs> He's running around the bases, happy to get that home run, that not home run monkey off his back. He did it in a huge way. Speaking of huge, a huge strikeout to a big batter, George Brett. He's off for three this afternoon. And there's an out. I believe that's out number two of this inning. Let's take a look at this strikeout. Don't know what George is swinging at. Really have no idea. But here's Carlton Fist, off for two here this afternoon. Flew out and grounded out his last time up. Two outs, the man's on. A home run in this inning. One run off the batter, Reggie Jackson. Pitched by Pineda to Fist. A ground ball to third. Inning over as they get the force of second. Coming in for one run scores. A huge run off the bat of Mr. October. Halfway through, 5-3 Sox. We're not going to pause for station ID. Citibank introduces your new City One account. The one account that combines checking, savings, and a credit card. It's unbeatable. City One, the one account that really simplifies my banking. Gives me control. City One, the one account that comes with a new monthly statement. It's clear, concise, it's terrific. Your new City One account. The one account I've been asking for. It's your Mike Lupica and Howard Cosell for the Daily News. What's on your mind these days, Howard? Weighty things, Mike. Changing political currents, summit diplomacy. But most often, Howard. Baseball, Michael. The World Series looms. That means more fans turning to the Daily News. For great coverage and pretty good columns. You're too modest. There are great sports columns in the Daily News, only one of which is yours. The Daily News, New York hometown paper. Good afternoon, White Sox fans. And there it is, a no-hitter. Oh, 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 oh. We march on to the bottom of the fifth, five to three. White Sox lead the Yankees. Didi Gregorius is now the batter and fouls it away strike one don't know how long uh phil necro is going to stay in this ball game because his pitch count is near 60 or near 70. that's down the left field line that's going to be extra bases hitting off the wall dd with tremendous speed on his way to second and now bring up the potential time under the plate Now bring a Rob Rob Schneider, 0 for 1 here this afternoon. Struck out back in the second. Pitch to Robbie is in the air to right field. Well hit. Reggie Jackson's got a beat on this one. Makes the catch. Tagging is Didi Lagorius to throw to third. Not in time. Close but no cigar. And a runner now 90 feet away for the Yankees. Now bring up Aaron Hicks. That's a good throw by Reggie there.
Missed by Necro to Hicks is a strike on one. He's a potential tying run under plate for the Yankees, so Necro's got to be careful. Foul away, strike two. 0 2 delivery. In the air. Deep to right field. Reggie going back. Still going back to the wall. He misplayed the ball. A run will come around to score. Reggie can't continue to get the ball. This is going to be an inside the park. They tying on run. Reggie Jackson absolutely lost out there in right field. 5 5 time. And Robert Ventura's got to be saying to himself, what the hell just happened? It's a huge E9 for Reggie, and it's a 5-5 five, five tie. Wow. Ellsbury fouls it back for one out, and the base is empty. It's a 5-5 five, five game, folks. Would you believe that? There's a strike that nipped that corner. 0-2 is the count. So just when you thought it was out number two, tried to be two-run insider. Not a home run, but a big error. Meanwhile, Negro gets another strikeout. Esbury does not agree. Strike three, two outs here in the fifth. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Now, here's Brett Gardner, who's homered twice here this afternoon. A line drive shot in the lower seats and right. And then a bomb, two-run home run into the second deck and right. So he has hit two home runs this afternoon off of Phil Necro. And then he hits one technically off of Phil Necro. No play. Gardner with his third hit of the game. Now bring up Brian McCann, 0 for 2, struck out and grounded out here this afternoon. He's had a tough day at the place so far this afternoon. He'll take a strike and the count is 0 and 1 on that knuckleball. The shadows are starting to creep in. That's too high, 1 and 1 is the count. The 1 1 delivery fouled straight back 1 and 2. One, two delivery, another foul ball. He's near 80 pitches, so this gotta be Necro's final inning. There's a high fly ball down the right field line and foul, we'll do it again. One, two delivery, that's skied in the air in the infield. Jimmy Rollins under this one. And he'll make the catch, yep, to get out number three recording. But the Yankees tie the game on a huge error committed by Reggie. End of five, five, five tie. Dylan Patances will come into the ball game facing Brett Laurie. Brett Saberhagen, by the way, out of the bullpen. He's set to come in in the bottom of the sixth inning. In a tie game, there's a ground ball to second. Rush Schneider to first. And there's out number one. Five, five tie and a slugfest here at the new stadium. Something we've been waiting for for quite a while. Here's Jose Abreu, two for two here this afternoon with two singles so far. Top of the six, five, five tie between the New York White Sox and the New York Yankees. Patances set at the belt with one out. And the pitch coming, swing and a miss, strike one. No balls, one strike, one out. 5-5 five, five game. Patance is set. And the pitch coming, and the ball hit on the ground is short. Didi Regorius with the long throw. Got his man, two away. So for both clubs, both pitchers will get a no decision. And now it's a bullpen game. Here's Jimmy Rollins, who has hit the ball three times hard. Two singles and a double. A perfect three for three. Went too far, strike one. It'll be an 0-1 to Jimmy. The test is set. Pitch on the way. Fouled away, strike two. 
Now the shadows have really creeped in. It's going to be tough for both the pitcher and the batter. Mostly the batter, I would say, because the ball is coming out of the sunlight. 0-2 to Jimmy, a high pop-up behind the plate. McCann under this one to put it away for out number three. One, two, three, go the White Sox. We have played five and a half in the middle of six, five, five time. To the bottom of the six, and Brett Saberhagen will be coming out of the bullpen. This is his seventh game. He's five and oh so far this year. He's here at 2.45. So in a no decision for Phil Necro, Saberhagen will take over. And he'll be facing this fella who back in the first inning hit a bomb to right field, and I mean a bomb, off the piss side facing of the third deck. You can't hit him any farther and higher than that. But that's exactly what Mark Teixeira did. That is a crush job if I've ever seen one. So here's the first pitch he sees in the inning. He fouls it back, strike one. Dave Hagen going up on the letters. And there's a strike going one on the fastball. Mark does not agree. Steps out for a moment. Now he's back in. 0-2 oh, delivery, rip foul, we'll do it again. 0-2 oh, on its way, popped up. First base side, who's going to get to this ball? It's going to be Abreu, nope. It's going to be the fans. 0-2 <laughs> oh, is the count. And the pitch coming, and the ball popped up again. The shift was on, so George Brett's got to go all the way in. He'll make the catch for out number one. I'll bring up A-Rod. And the first pitch to him with one out is popped up to the shortstop. Jimmy Rollins makes the catch two away. Greg Byrne, 0 for 2 here this afternoon. He has struck out and grounded out. Takes a strike on one. Two out delivery. In the air to right field. Can Reggie get to it? He can. He's off the wall. Greg on his way to first. He'll stay there. Does not want to take a chance for Reggie's arm. And the go ahead run is in first base for the Yankees. And the batter is Didi Bagori. It's one for two with a double and a run. Two out delivery to Didi. Foul away, strike one. Daniel Webb is in the bullpen for the White Sox just in case the runner goes. Here's the throw to second, and they got him! Greg Berg caught stealing, side retired. End of six, 5-5 five, five time. Line score, 5-12-1 for the White Sox, 5-6-1 for the Yankees. Amendments, a game-tying two-run home run. Brett Gardner going deep twice. Phil Nico get the no decision. Four earned runs, six strikeouts. As the Todd father, Todd Frazier leads hey, off the, the, bot the top of the seventh hey, inning. Hey, 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 hey. In a 5-5 uh, game here in the final game of this three-game Battle of the Bronx Subway Series. Matanza is still on the mound. Got a 1-2-3 inning back in the sixth. Shattered bat, pop up, and foul. Strike one. No balls, one strike. Potence is sit at the belt. Pitch coming, and the ball ripped, but foul. That's a souvenir. Oh, and two. And the pitch coming, way outside, one and two. Shadow's about to creep over the pitching mound in a matter of moments. It'll be a one-two to Frazier. And the pitch coming. A chopper foul, we'll do it again. One ball, two strikes on Todd Frazier. Patance is set at the belt. All set to deliver. And the pitch coming. Got him swinging. Strike three, one away. Hey. 
Now bring up Dave Winfield. Winfield one for three this afternoon. Single way back in the third. Reggie Jackson is on deck. Patances sit at the bell, keeping an eye on, well, the catcher. Nobody on base. One out delivery to Davis, down low, one ball and no strike. Patances sit at the bell, one and oh is the count. And the pitch coming, and that's ripped foul. One ball and one strike on Winfield. Five, five, tied. If you just joined us here on the top of the seventh, you have missed a lot. Back and forth contest between the Yankees and the White Sox. The one-one. It's hit high in the air to shallow left center. Back is Brett Gardner, and he'll put it away for out number two. Here's Reggie Jackson, who back in the last inning had a monster center field shot on top of the restaurant in the crowd. He came big again with that extra run, but unfortunately, well, he dropped, he made this play the ball that has gotten this game tied. Can he make up for it? That's the big question. He swings and misses on one, and I think he wants to make up for it. I mean, you know, he's a very good outfielder, but that ball just hooked on him. He just misplayed it didn't know where the ball was and it cost his team two runs and he would like to make up for it and unbreak this tie it'll be an 0-1 to jackson pitch coming and the ball lined into the gap in left center field that's gonna be a base hit jackson has the wheels but he'll stay at first i'll bring up george Pratt, but let's take a look at this hard hit single by reggie Brett, make it not Brett, but Jim Edmonds, no mistake. George Brett is on deck after Edmonds. Edmonds has had a pretty good day, has driven in three RBIs, a game tying two run home run earlier, and then an RBI single. He's had another single early, uh, later on uh, as well. So he's a perfect three for three. Man's at first two outs, five, five tie here on the top of the seven. The chance is set. And the pitch coming. The runner going. The throw to second, not in time. And Reggie, the go-ahead runner, moves into scoring position. No balls, one strike, two outs. Five, five, tie. The pitch coming. Did he go around? He did. Ball gets away. Or did he go around? Don't know. But Reggie moves into third base. So it's got to be either a pass ball or a wild pitch. A call a wild pitch. He did not go around. Well, the count is even at one and one. Edmonds trying to bring that go-ahead runner in. One and two now on Jim. One ball, two strikes, two outs, pitch to Jimmy, is a high fly ball, well hit in the left field. Gardner going back, looking up, that ball is gone, so long farewell, he's done it again, in a huge way. Jim Edmonds, Jim Edmonds has got hit his second two-run homer of the ball game, and it's a go-ahead two-run home run, puts the Sox in front, seven to five, and fans, you know what happens every time a socket's home run. Hey, Jim Edmonds, this bud for you. An opposite field line drive jolt for Jim Edmonds. You got all of that one. And we got a new pitcher, Anthony Swarzak will come in. He's pitched every day in this series. And he'll be facing George Brett. That is home run number 30 for Jim Edmonds. Here's Brett who has 32 home runs. Still stuck in second place. Winfield leads the club with 33. The old one on the way. Line to deep right field. Off the wall. Off the Sony sign. And George has himself a bullet single. 
He just missed the home run by two feet. And he extends his heading streak to 20 straight games. Let's take a look at this rocket. If the ball was a little bit higher, that would have been a home run. Here's Carlton Fisk. Runner at first two outs, pitch coming, and the ball lined into the right center field. That's gonna be extra bases for Carlton Fest. Georgia Berry, hustling runner. He's getting the turnaround. He's gonna try to score. Here comes the throw, not in time. Eight to five, White Sox lead. Give Carlton Fest an RBI on that hit. Let's keep an eye on George Brett here, or let's keep an eye on Carlton Fest, why don't we? An RBI double for Fist. He just continues to kill the Yankees offensively. And now here's Brett Laurie. Eight to five, White Sox lead. Now it's 10 to five with that bomb. Look at this one fly. So long, farewell, into the bleacher creatures in right center. Brett Laurie with a two run shot. And it's 10 to five, White Sox. And once again, fans, you know what happens every time a White Sox gets a home run. Hey, Brett Laurie, this bud for you. He has found his home run stroke. He had a home run yesterday and the day before. So three games in a row, he has tattooed the baseball. This one was totally tattooed. He got some skin off of that ball, too. And a glad hand reception from Carlton Fish and Jose Abreu. But this is why the Sox picked him up. He has that energy, but he has that power, especially to the opposite way, and that's what he just did. Into the bleacher, off the bleacher creatures, and into the bullpen. And we got a new pitcher, the left-hander, Jason Shreve, will come in for the Yankees. And he's facing Bob, uh, Jose Abreu. By the way, for Laurie, that's home run number 15. And that's a goner, look at this. Don't even bother to run, that's a tape measure job. So long, farewell, Jose Abreu. He's back in style, folks. His third hit of the ball game. It is the second day in a row he's hit a home run. This one was a crush job. It's now 11 to five White Sox. And fans, once again, you know what happens every time a White Sox gets a home run. Hey, Jose Abreu, this buzz for you. And once again, the Sox go back to back. Seems like a nightly, a nightly thing, isn't it? He didn't miss all of any of this one. That one was crushed. Here's Jimmy Rollins will be batting on the right side this time because the left-hander's on the mound. For Jose Abreu, that is home run number 10 of the year. Jimmy lines it to left field, but that'll be caught by Garner. And this nightmare inning for the Yankees is over. But the Sox tee off again. And at the middle of the seventh, time to stretch with the Sox on top of the Yanks, 11 to five. Didi Magoria steps in. He's one for two here this afternoon. Doubled and scored a run. Brett Saberhagen with a six-run lead to work with will try to keep the Yankees at, uh, bats in check. There's a strike, and the count is 0-1. Round ball to first, and everybody's got it, ball number one. The Yankees will be heading on the road. They'll be taking on the Middle West Coast Club. Here's Rob Ruff Snyder, who's 0-2 with a strikeout and a flyout. Saber Hagen with the one out delivery on the way to Robbie. There's a strike. The count is 0 and 1. The 0 1 on the way. In the air, deep and high to left field. That ball is gone. 5 run game for the Yankees. They're down by 5. Rob Rockstar with a bomb in the left center bleach to bleach the seat. Another home run hit by the Yankees this afternoon.
Now ring of Aaron Hicks after that home run, he'll take a strike. Oh, 11 to six, White Sox lead here in the seventh inning. And there's a bun, that's a foul ball. One out, 0-2 is the count. Pitch, popped up to the right side, foul territory for Abreu, he'll put it away for another out. Take a look at the pitch sequence against Aaron Hicks, as Jacoby Ellsbury is now at the plate. Jacoby opened three here this afternoon. He struck out his last time up back in the fifth inning. Two out deliveries to strike going one. Look at this. Brett is, is, is Saberhagen push picking GM? Yeah, he is. Ground ball to short. Bobble by Rollins. No way to get Ellsbury. That's an error on Jimmy Rollins. The second error of the ball game for the White Sox. The Yankees have one error in this ball game as well. As soon as he bobbled it, you know he wasn't going to get it. So here's Brett Gardner who has homered twice in his ball game and has also hit a line shot off of uh, Necro. He's a perfect three for three this afternoon. Two outs, man's at first and runners in on Ruff Snyder's home run to left. There's a strike and the count is now one and one. One one delivery, line but foul. One, two delivery, struck him out swinging. And Gardner's perfect day is over and out the window. But the Yankees score one run. They have a couple of men on base. They leave one on base. And it's seven. 11 to six socks. We're not going to pause for station identification. I won the pennant with the Yankees, and I won the pennant with the Mets. I know a winner when I see one. Like the Daily News, big news sports section. Three more pages every day. Great new writers, too. I know the fight for who's got the best sports section in New York isn't over until it's over, but it's over. Daily News Sports. The new powerhouse in New York's hometown paper. It's over. Call the fist calls all my pitches. Even this one for these washable, durable White Sox placemats from your hometown Pizza Hut restaurants. Oh, yeah. Just order any Pizza Hut pizza and get a set of two White Sox placemats for just 89 cents. There are four White Sox placemats in all, and they're available only at your hometown Pizza Hut restaurants. Hey, what's that? Fork ball. Fork ball? I don't even have a fork ball. <laughs> Where'd you learn to catch? Vinny Pastrano will come in. He's been in 11 games and he's 12 so far, and this is his third straight game. He's facing the White Sox at bat. Here's Todd Frazier, who is an unusual 0 for 4 this afternoon. Mina Disorder is due up here in the eighth inning. With the club up by 5, 11 to 6. That's Hammer to deep center field. Going back is the center fielder. He'll make the catch to Ellsbury, and it looks like Todd Frazier will be finishing his day 0 for 5. Let's take a look at the starter comparisons. These guys are not going to be factored into this game. They were not solid at all, especially Nepro, unfortunately. But Yankees are a pesky team when they want to. Here is Winfield, 1 for 4 with a single. He singled way back in the third inning. Got a piece of that one, strike one. We're in the top of the eighth, White Sox 11, Yankees 6. Pitch on the way to Winfield. Who oh. for that one didn't get anywhere? It'll be an 0-2 to Winfield on its way, and there's a high fly ball, well hit! Deep to left, look at this one fly, oh mercy! That's a blast! Home run number three, make it 499 for Dave Winfield. And he got all of that one. And the Sox extend their lead. 
Holy cow, what a shot by Dave Winfield. Number 34 of the year and home run number 499. And fans, you know what happens every time a White Sox gets a home run. Hey, Dave Winfield. This bud's for you. Give him a whole case on that one. 476 feet deep in the left field seats. You got to be kidding me. Well, in the fifth inning, we talk about monster shots. Reggie had one of his own in, on top of the restaurant in center field here at the new stadium. That was his 32nd of the year. By the way, for Winfield, home run number 34, but more importantly, career home run number 499. Incredible. Reggie takes the pitch inside, 1-0. There's another Danny office for the New York White Sox when it comes to home runs and milestones. 12 to 6, Sox lead. 1 0 to Reggie, swinging on his strike one. One one to Jackson outside, two balls and one strike. The Sox have hit six home runs today while the Yankees have hit four of their own. And they have not been cheapies. Gardner with two to share with one and Rob Schneider with one. Speaking of one, two and one is the count on Jackson. Round ball, base hit down the right field line. And he's on with another hit. So Reggie getting out of that slump that he was in yesterday, a mini one. And you know what? You talk about the ninth inning. The Sox will have a chance to bat in the ninth inning. Can you imagine Winfield having a chance to bat in the ninth inning just like last night? We'll make it two nights ago with Carlton Fist. I mean, wouldn't that be something? Well, we're a long way off. There's one out here in the eighth. The man's at first. 12 to 6 is the score. That's fouled away. Strike one. One, oh and one is the count on Edmonds on its way. A high fly ball, well hit in a deep left center field. That ball is off the wall. He just missed, he missed his third home run of the game. And Jackson will scoot in the third, second and third and one out. And I'll tell you what, no, no, no. the White Sox continue to bash the Yankee bullpen. Jackson may have, make it, uh, Winfield may have a chance to hit that milestone today. Fifth hit of the game for Jim Edmonds and now here's George Brett. Twelve to six, Sox looking for more. We're one out here in the eighth. That's a no number. That's a fair ball. Runners will stay right where they are. Two out. A rough day for George Brett here this afternoon. And now it's up to Carlton Fisk. Is there a chance that Winfield could get in that bat in the ninth? We shall see. It all depends on how things go. Two outs, two on. A run is in next to Winfield's bomb. That's nope. down low, 1-0. And, oh. and Chapman and the Yankee fans and the Yankee dugout not happy with that call. 1-0 oh on Carlton. Two outs, two on. 1-0 oh delivery. Fouled away, we'll do it again. One and one. And the pitch coming. A chopper, but foul. One and two is the count. One ball, two strikes, two out, two on. The pitch to fist on his way, and there it goes. The pitch there, it's gone. He's done it again. Number six in this series for Carlton Fist. Unbelievable performance this weekend. And career home run number 402. Have a weekend, Carlton Fisk. Give him the rest of the week off, folks. <laughs> he, he can do this every weekend. And fans, you know what happens every time a White Sox gets a home run. Hey, Carlton Fisk, this bud's for you a three-run shot. And his sixth home run in this series. Have a weekend, Carlton Fisk. 
This one a no doubter. The only question was, will it stay fair or go foul? That iconic home run thing, it worked for this one. That stayed fair. Into the second deck and left. And Ivan Nova now comes here on the mound. And here's a fella who back in the last inning, in the seventh inning, he hit off, bomb himself. The right center, a two-run bombing, no doubter. So here he is with two outs, the run is in for fifth. That's home run number 26 of the year. 15 to six is the score. Ground ball to short. And it's out number three. Nice scoop there by Deshera to save an error. But the Sox tee off with four runs. Middle of the eighth, 15 to six Sox. 15-6, Sox lead. Hope for three is McCann. And Brett Saberhagen, who's on the hook for the win, is, throws the first pitch in there for a strike one call. 15-6, Sox lead. They have hit eight home runs this afternoon while the Yankees have hit four. So a home run battle indeed, but the score is totally lopsided once again. In the air. Right center field. Edmonds right there on the warning track. He'll put it away for out number one here in the eighth. Now bring him on to Sharon who had a home run way back in the first inning. And he hit that ball way out. Back in the first inning. Fouls this one back, strike one. The other one on the way. Fouled away again. Gonna fight off those outside pitches by Saber Hagen. The 0 2 on its way, struck him out, swinging two away here in the eighth inning. Here's A Rod, who's all for three here today, lined out back in the sixth inning. Two out, base is empty. 15 to 6 is the score. Swing and a miss on the fastball, 0 and 1. The 0 one on the way. Fouled away again on two. Saber Hagen really throwing him in there. 0 2 to A Rod. Another foul ball. 0 2 again. Goal line but foul. Again the 0 2. Popped up behind the plate. Colton can't get to that one. Again the 0-2, another foul ball. Once again the 0-2 pitch, another foul ball. Boy, he's really giving Saberhagen a lot of work here. Again the 0-2, he struck him outside, retired. One, two, three, go to Yankees. Is there a chance we see Winfield tonight? We shall see. 15 to six, Sox lead at the end of eight. Well. A couple of socks have to get on in order for Dave to have a chance to make history. We saw history on Friday night. Will we see it today? Well, we don't know. A tough pitcher is on the mound now facing Jose Abreu, who has gone deep here this afternoon. And that's fouled away, strike one. Ninth inning, 15 to six, Sox lead. On one is the count on Abreu. And the pitch coming, and a shattered back, ground ball, tough play for Ralph Schneider, he gets the out. Here's Jimmy, three for five here today with a home run and two singles. Nova set at the belt, one out delivery to Jimmy, there she goes, goodbye baseball. Bring out the tape measure, more than one. What a blast by Jimmy Rollins. His fourth home run in this series, and the Sox are now up by 10. 16 to six, White Sox. And fans, you know what happens every time a Sockets home run. Hey, Jimmy Rollins, this bud's for you. And by the way, that gives Dave Winfield a chance to bat in the ninth. The ninth home run hit in his game for the White Sox. And the 13th total in his game. 
This one was a no doubter, folks. He got a meatball pitch and he hit it off the facing of the second deck, into the second deck and out. Number 26 for Rollins. Here is Todd Frazier, who is in an 0 for 5 situation. That'll change, hard hit ball up the middle, and now here comes the man of the hour, Dave Winfield, with a massive monster shot deep into the seats and left, home run number 499. And by the way, for Todd, they extends his inning streak to 22 straight games. Well, we saw this on Friday night, history on the last at bat, with Carlton Fitz hitting four home runs, his fourth home run was his 400th career. This was 499, an unbelievable 10 measure shot by Dad Winfield. He is one shy of his 500th career home run. Will he do it his last at bat? We shall see. Here we go, one out, infield is in, the man's at first. Nova set the belt, and the pitch to Winfield, down low, one and all. We've seen history many times before, and it has happened in the last at bat. Will it happen here? We shall see. Man's at first, one out, one and all is the count on Winfield. Nova set the belt. One old delivery, swing and a miss, one and one on Winfield. Reggie Jackson is on deck. One ball, one strike. One one to Winfield, high fly ball, well hit the deep center field, it'll stay in the yard. He just missed his pitch. There's out number two, and Frazier will go to first. So no number 500 today. Maybe another day. We shall see. So Winfield's retired. And I'll bring up Reggie Jackson. Four for five with a home run and a double. Ten run ball game. 16 to six. A home run hit by Jimmy Rollins here in the ninth. His fourth of this series. And his 26th of the season. Man's at first two outs. Ten run ball game. Ten run lead for the Sox. And there's a high fly ball to left field and over the head of Gardner. Let's see if they'll send the runner home, and they will. The throw home is well off the line. It's 17-6 to New York to Reggie Jackson, an RBI double. Have a day, Reggie. And now bring up Jim Edmonds, who's had himself quite a day. And Andrew Miller will come in the pitch. Left-hander against left-hander, Jim Edmonds, a perfect five for five with two home runs and a double. He has driven in five RBIs this afternoon. Man's the second, two out. 17 to six is the score. Went too far, strike one. Edmonds does not agree with that call. You can tell how disgusted he is with that call. But nothing he can do about it. The 0-1 to Edmonds. Ooh, way out in front of that one. 0-2. Oh oh 0-2 pitch on its way. Outside, two balls and two strikes. Sox with five doubles this afternoon while the Yankees, well, only got one. One and two on Edmonds. Can his perfect day continue? It could. There's a high fly ball deep center, but it won't. It'll stay in the yard, sad retire. But Jimmy Rollins with a bomb to the second deck. Middle of the ninth, last chance for the Yankees. Down 17 to six against the Sox. Sox three outs away from a sweep. They're staying undefeated. Yankees are going to need a miracle, but right now they're three outs away from getting swept here at home. And for the White Sox, another sweep, another win in the record books as they remain undefeated. There's a high fly ball well hit into right field. That ball is gone. Greg Bird with a line drive. Bullet meets with a nine-run deficit.
my impression of Hoss Horace on the inside. Thank you very much. 17 to 7 is the score. A 10 run deficit. I said 9. It was actually an 11 run deficit. And that's hooked down the left field line for Winfield. He'll make the catch. Four out number one, and the Sox are two outs away from staying undefeated and sweeping the Yankees. What a weekend it has been for the New York White Sox, folks. From top to bottom, they've just been outstanding offensively and pitching-wise. Today was a little bit shaky for Phil Nico, but the bullpen, Fred Saberhagen coming through. Here's a fella who hit a home run off of Saberhagen a couple of innings ago. Trying to do it again. He's behind, though, 0-2. One out. Nobody on a run is in. It's a 10-run deficit for the Yankees. Saberhagen with the pitch on his way. Another foul ball will do it again. O2 delivery in the air to shallow center field. Edmund. He's right there. He'll put it away for out number two. Socks one out away from a sweep. And the final hope for the Yankees is Aaron Hicks 0 for 3 who popped out his last time up back in the seventh inning. Final chance for the Yankees to try to stay alive. They do have one run here in the ninth inning on the home run by Greg Bird. There's a strike and the count is 0-1. Yankees will be heading on the road trip while the White Sox will be headed across the street home. Taking on Houston for three games. The 0-1 fouled away and the Yankees are now down to their final strike. 0-2 to Levery. We'll do it again on the foul ball. O2 delivery, another foul ball. This will be pitch number 50 by Saberhagen. On his way, a little nubbler towards third. It's going to be a tough one for Brett. No play. The game continues. With two outs and the base is empty, here is Jacoby Ellsbury. Oh, for four here today. Grounded out his last time up back in the seventh Eight. inning. A high strike on one. The 0 1 delivery. Fouled away, and once again, the Yankees are down to their final strike. Takes a short lead at first. The 0 2 to Ellsbury. Another foul ball. Again, the 0 2. Another foul ball. Once again, the 0-2. In the air to left field. This should do it. Winfield backtracking. He's under this one. He'll put it away. Sox win it and sweep the Yankees here at the new Yankee Stadium and beat them by a final score of 17-7. They sweep another ball club, and they still remain the only undefeated team in Major League Baseball. Bill Negro doesn't get the win, but Brett Saberhagen does. What a job he did this afternoon. And he'll get the win, and the Yankees, well, they got to figure things out. We'll keep it here to wrap things up here at Old New Yankee Stadium. Here are the totals for both clubs. The White Sox, 17-25-2, while the Yankees went 7-9-1. Brett Saberhagen gets a win, got three strikeouts, only surrendered two on runs. Jim Evans, a big hero, with two home runs and a ton of runs batted in. As the final score here from the new stadium is 17-7 in favor of the White Sox. And now let's take a look at the player of the game on Donnelly. It's Jimmy Rollins. Not Jimmy Rollins, but it's Jim Edmonds with two home runs and five RBIs. Five for six here this afternoon. Take a snapshot. You need to get out of the slump he was in. Jim Edmonds, your player of the game, brought to you by Top State for Overgrown Cards, the official sponsor of MLB The Show 16 and New York White Sox Baseball. We'll see you next time with more New York White Sox Baseball. If you want to know the upcoming schedule, log on to Facebook.com slash YouTube. Until then, this is yours truly, John Thrill, saying so long for the new stadium. Final score today, the New York White Sox 17, the Yankees 7. So long, everybody. And happy Memorial Day. 
I won the pennant with the Yankees, and I won the pennant with the Mets. I know a winner when I see one. Like the Daily News, big new sports section. Three more pages every day. Great new writers, too. I know the fight for who's got the best sports section in New York isn't over until it's over. But it's over. Daily News Sports. The new powerhouse in New York's hometown paper. It's over. There's something that belongs to you. And another 10 million New Yorkers, too. We do more than turn a paper out. We're what New York is all about. You can't live without it, so read all about it. In the paper that belongs to you. New York's hometown paper. The one to choose is the daily news. New York's hometown paper. Mike Lupica and Howard Cosell for the Daily News. What's on your mind these days, Howard? Weighty things, Mike. Changing political currents, summit diplomacy. But most often, Howard. Baseball, Michael. The World Series looms. That means more fans turning to the Daily News. For great coverage and pretty good columns. You're too modest. There are great sports columns in the Daily News, only one of which is yours. The Daily News, New York hometown paper. You're watching WB5, WON-TV Brooklyn, part of the WON YouTube Network.